and now I have become Georgia Siwa. You're welcome. Yo. Today we are going to be trying to make a baked Alaska, which I have not tried, but apparently my I really want this to come out of success and I want success because I really want him to be happy. It's my present to him. And I'm gonna make, make be making half of it today, aka the cake and the ice cream. And then tomorrow, because of the meringue, I'm making Italian meringue. And I don't know what you think it's Voiceover, so get used to it, okay? Let's get right into the video. Okay, so first you're gonna have to put plastic wrap or um, saran wrap, as Americans call it, all over the bowl, or try to put it over the bowl, or struggle to put it over the bowl. Oh my god, come on! Like, oh my god. Okay, <laughs> just try put it on the bowl like I'm. Okay, just forget this. Don't try to do it like I am right now because this is horrible. This is just a mess. Do it like my mom's doing right now because I have to get her to help me. This is only the first step, so like, you know when something's gonna go bad. Like, when you have to do this. Okay. Yeah, pat it down. Then you get some vanilla ice cream. And, okay, you have to open it up. Don't open it up like me. Don't just rip it open like it's a bag of Skittles that you haven't had sugar in a week or a month or whatever. Then you cut it into little pieces. Well, big blocks, I guess. And then you just sl slam dunk them into the bowl, I guess. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I never use a sharp knife, kids. I used to go like that. And then you just hammer it down. Yeah. Just, you know... Just hit it like it's a big pile of dirt. I don't know why. Then just smooth it out until it's this smooth. And then you just put it in the freezer. And then you take one and a half cups of flour and you put it in a sifter. And you sift it into a bowl. Yeah, sift, 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 sift. Then you take two teaspoons of baking powder and you put it into the bowl. Then you take one half a teaspoon of salt into the bowl look at the shiny spoons then you mix it all up with the whisk just yeah just tidy up yeah nothing too different just like you know scrub it off the floor then you are going to take four eggs and you're going to crack them so they kind of do that and then you're gonna whisk it up with the fork then you're gonna add, then you're gonna add one cup of sugar into your eggs i guess then you're gonna add two tablespoons of vanilla extract yes i said two it has to be vanilla or else not then you have to keep whisk not mix wh not whisking mixing you have to keep mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing until it gets as foamy as hell i guess You're just gonna still keep mixing and then now that we've stopped finally um we can finally now add in our two tablespoons of rapeseed oil oh look at that shiny spoon it's so shiny Ooh. and then you just keep mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing and keep mixing and mixing and mixing and then you add half of your dry ingredients into your wet ingredients and yeah and you just keep mixing and mixing and mixing, I guess. Yeah, mm -hmm. then add the rest of it in. Oh, look at that close up of that flour mixing in through the batter. Oh, it looks so nice. Oh, remember to get all the flour off the edges or else it won't work. And now just watch me mess around, basically tidy up all my mess. Yeah, that's a normal person would do, I guess. Dance around with a big bottle of seed oil. Then you take out your springform pan, you take off the bottom, and then you get, um, Greasy paper, and then you circ. You. 
yeah. You cut, a, you cut the same amount of size as your circle is, and then you cut little kind of rectangles sticking out, I guess, and then you, so then you get butter, and then you grease your pan. Remember, do not put the pen side up or pen side up, because that will be bad. Then you get some butter, and then you put it all over the pan, and then you put the butter back. Yes, I said back. And then you put in the, um, paper. I forget what it's called, sorry. Don't do that. And then you put in the batter. Ooh, nice. And then you spread it all around. Then you put it in the oven for 20 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. And then you take it out after 20 minutes. And then, you know, I just kick the doors and everything. It doesn't matter. And then we just play some poker. Yeah. Just normal night. Just playing some poker with my dad. Nothing too horrible, I guess. Like, it's not actual money, but it's actually pretty funny. Actual money, but I made it really funny. But that's just horrible right now. Oh my god, I should stop now. Okay, then you add in 180 grams of sugar and 100 ml of water, and you put it up to medium heat until it starts to bubble. And right now, it's doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. Then you're going to take three egg whites and you're going to put them in your mixer. Yes, I said three egg whites. Then you're gonna add a drop of lemon because it gives it a nice, <laughs> a nice glossy texture. <laughs> uh -huh. Just keep mixing and mixing until it makes soft peaks. Then after your um, sugar syrup is very glistening and it's bubbling like sparks, and it's just about to start color, yeah. Then you pour it in slowly into your mixture. I just put up the video because I had I had to whistle way too long. And then um, wait for it to start making peaks, and it's very, very glossy, and it just looks like the right texture. That's when you're done. Now to start assembling, take your pan and take your thing off. I get ring. Then you take your cake out of the pan, and you put it onto the pan. Then you take your ice cream out of the freezer. And then I had, to, I had to have some help with this because it's kind of hard to take it out. So, yeah. And you take it out of the freezer and then you basically just, I guess, plop it on top. Yeah. Like I just did. Boop. Yeah. And then, ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Very nice. And then you put all your meringue, just smear it on top like that. Just, just spread it all around like you're nuts. It's perfect, doesn't matter if it's messy or not. You're an artist. That's your canvas. And then you get a blowtorch out. It was so fun to do with the blowtorch. Like, and remember, do not use like a proper huge one. Use a, a baking blowtorch, I guess. A pastry blowtorch? I don't know what it's called. Comment down below. I'm stupid. I'm not stupid, but I act stupid sometimes. Yeah. Ooh, girl, look at that flame. Oh my god. What? What? Okay. We can deal with this. This looks so good right now. My mouth is like literally watering. It's amazing. Ooh, dang. Oh, it's on fire. Oh no. Just blow it out. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's the whole point. It's supposed to be on fire. You just blow it out. And then stop it. And then this is me cutting the cake. AKA, yeah, ice cream cake. And it was so good. Oh my god. It was delicious as hell. If you really like this recipe, I think you should really try it. It was delicious. Ooh, that looks nice. Very, very nice. Ooh, damn. Hot. Don't it. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. Mm hmm yeah. So, did you like the cake? Yes. <laughs> Jason, did you like the cake I made? Yes. Would you like me to make it again if I had the chance? Yes. So, did I win? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We did it! We killed him! <laughs> I'm just kidding. But really. Hey. 
but it's me make it. No problem. Okay, see you next time. Comment down below what you want me to do next time. And see you. Bye. Motherfucker, yeah. We were smoking chill It was on the gym at lunch We thought it was real I was even feeling meth I ain't even care yeah, Just to be around you Made it worth it I dropped out But you still said I'm perfect I remember at the